for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for war. If you looking for me, you know where to find me. I leave you dusted, I leave you behind me. I flip the switch from zero to 90. If you do too much, I'ma do the almighty. You know I got it, you know I'm a legend. Welcome back to Nissan Stadium just across the river from downtown Nashville. It's Titan football as we rejoin the action in the second quarter. Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out, and they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. He's well on his way to a 1,000-yard season, maybe on pace to just tear past that, Charles. Defensively, they need to pay a little bit more attention to him? Yeah, I think so, because remember, throwing the football, that can shred a defense quicker than anything else because as soon as the catch is made, he still has the ability to, you know, yards after catch, get downfield, gain even more, score touchdowns, all of that. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch as this progresses to see how they defend him and how he changes up his game in order to try and keep getting open. And we often talk about defensive end setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Here's Allen to throw it. Finding Knox there, complete. That catch good for five, it's third down. 
Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Bills on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Allen going to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return, and it'll be Titan football. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here into week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors in some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about 1,000 yards either. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. Henry again on second down. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. So, Charles, you look at this offense, so what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 49, 49. Operating from the gun. Joy gets this to Ferkser, the tight end. Three yards the gain there, second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down at seven. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 32. The Titans on third down. Two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. defense there. They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. 63 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. remaining in this first half of football. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry 
his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Randy Bullock. And he puts it through. They're within three. It's 13 to 10. That time, a nine play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. For the Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Second and ten. Now Allen, and Beasley with it over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. Here's Allen, and that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's taken to the 26. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down, Joy. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Back to throw again. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, this from 53. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short.
Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from Virginia Tech, Caleb Farley. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of his first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where you see the final score there. Patrick Mahomes, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. From there, we'll head to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Baker Mayfield leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia, check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Tom Brady, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. In the game you're watching, it was Josh Allen who was on target in that first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And how'd you like to be a cornerback, having to come up to try and tackle that big man out of the backfield? Heck, how'd you like to be a linebacker or a defensive lineman? Because he's as big as all of them. Derrick Henry, not utilized a whole lot in the passing game, just 19 catches a year ago. But when you swing it to him out of the backfield, look out. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Off the play fake, Joy, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. The veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. It'll be a gain of 18 on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you'd like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Hey. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Joy throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. And down inside the 15 he goes. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Coming up on second and seven. From the gun, Joy. And he rifles one incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Cameron Batson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Titans have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He's likely still kicking himself from the interception last drive that wound up leading to a go-ahead score. And he's going to assume all that came with that one, all right? That's all on him but he also knows he's got to erase it from his mind and get back out there. This drive, very important. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. of a yard and things get a little more difficult here third and five down here at about the 40. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Allen now on first down. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down at four. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. 
But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. There's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off play action, Joy. And this is caught, it's Brown. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A.J. Brown is starting to get a well-deserved reputation as one of the top flight receivers in the NFL. Went over 1,000 yards in his first two years. Makes another strong catch there. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake. Joy. And this will be caught once again by Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. But so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. They'll look to throw again. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. Looking to throw on second down. Joy, got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. On third down, Joy. Pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Give that sack to Harrison Phillips, the big man. Boy, Charles, that time he took a bad situation and made it worse. Yeah, you're almost putting together a nice little song there, aren't you? Because it's something you'll see from young quarterbacks. They have that tendency to retreat backwards instead of stepping up in the pocket. Here's Bullock now for the Titan field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Bullock's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it 
without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. To throw again on second down, Allen. And he's gonna hook up with his big tight end, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 43. From the gun, it's Allen. And he finds Beasley, complete. Seven yards to pick up there. On second down now, Singleton from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Second and nine. Allen. And this one caught by Beasley. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 17-yard line. Singletary here running out of the gun. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Now a second down and six. Throwing now is Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Second and goal from the one. To the air, Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And an important one that is as we are tied now early in this fourth quarter. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. Taking it at about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news. Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And a busy night for Henry continues. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Derrick Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. And this is going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. So after the INT, it's Allen. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. On second down, Singletary. And he's going to get this one down nearly out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Flush to his right. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. This to break our fourth quarter time. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty, and now you wonder whether offense ever see the football again. Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. Back to throw now on second and 10. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action, Joy. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. A give to Henry. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. The rain compounding issues here for a possible field goal try. They'd love to obviously get closer, even pick up the first down if they can. It's third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And the Bills force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. 
Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make it second down. Looking to throw. Allen. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but Cole Beasley, he's in his 10th NFL season, and in 2020, his best year yet. 82 catches, close to 1,000 yards. Loves the freedom that this Bills offense affords him. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Right back to Singletary on second down. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. The Bills on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This will be third and six. Back to throw. Allen. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Looking to throw, Allen. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Allen again here on second and ten. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Allen again. The left side caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll run on first down with Singletary. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Allen on a slant. He's got Sanders. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 19. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And, I'm gonna... and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 
A first down carry for Henry. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Henry. And for one of the first times to play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Looking to throw. Joy. Open man, Westbrook Aquino. And he will have a Titans. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try the right side with Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Second down, they go again with Henry. Hundred and eight yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. On third down, Henry. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Bills are gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. And Bullock will put this one through. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Allen and the Bills now. Down 23-20. A minute 24 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. is Allen. He gets his complete to Diggs. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they hurry to the line. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 
And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do, if a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. Six yards left on second down. Back to throw. Joy, he's got Ferkser. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dime. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They're set for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets double, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call, but when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. <laughs> from just shy of midfield. Allen finding Knox there, complete. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Opening drive of overtime and now facing a third down at six. Big play coming up. Now Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 32-yard line. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Here's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Three yards the game there, second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Only able to gain a couple there. And it'll be third down. 
Again, they'll throw with Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it. All right, I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here <laughs> with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Operating from the red zone now. Allen firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this wing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect them to attack on defense and not sit back. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. On the give, this is Singletary. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Allen going to throw. Eluding the... And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, David. I kind of figured that was coming. So for the Bills, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they taste defeat for the first time this season as they drop to 5-1. And, and they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Nashville, good night, everybody. Touching on the back, what you see is good intention.